Hi there, oh, welcome back. Uh, on this screencast, we're going to see uh, some basics uh, of how to output statements from JavaScript. Uh, in the previous screencast, we saw how we can include JavaScript code within the HTML code. So there are three different ways of doing that. We can either do it internally or within the tag itself, or we can do it in, we can include it in the HTML document itself, the complete document, which is internal. This can be done either inside the head tag or within the body tag, preferably just before the ending of the body tag. And the third one was an external file, which is the most preferable one, which is it can be shared, the main functions can be shared by different HTML pages. Now let's go to our topic today at hand, is how we can provide output from our JavaScript code. Now, there are very different ways of doing that. In the previous screencast, we saw a statement called alert. Now, alert allows you to uh, demonstrate or give a message to the user through a pop-up window. So, for example, if I say, hello world over here, alert, and this is the message that will be shown to the user once this is executed. So I'm using the internal one over here just for demonstration for, for the screencast. So let's go back and see in our page. I'm going to refresh it and you see that this is one of the ways of displaying a message to the user through a pop-up window, which is Hello World. There are different types of uh, uh, pop-up messages. You can, you can customize it based on your need. The first one, as we just saw, is the alert. It's just responsible for showing a message to the user. There is one more which is called prompt which allows you to ask a question ask a question from the user so example if I say what is your name and then I'll save it and then let me just go back over here refresh the page say hello world because it's the first one and then it comes back to what is your name so this is like a question which requires an answer Okay, so I press OK and this goes back. So I'm not doing anything. We'll stick there. In the next uh, screencast, I'm going to show you how we can take an output when we define variables. So now it's something like this. Let's say if I am here, there's one more which we can do, or we can also do something in the inside the prompt one. We can allow the user by to give a hint uh, as to what to enter inside there. So we can say something like this: Enter your name here. Okay, so it accepts uh, multiple parameters. So the first one will be the question, and the second one is the hint within that question. So if I refresh this, hello world, and the second one will be see this is highlighted. So this is like a placeholder where the user can replace it to type his own name. It's like a hint given to you. Okay. The third one is a confirm dialog box. The confirm dialog box allows you to ask a yes or no question. So usually use like, like for example, are you sure you want to delete this? Delete this, okay? So it's like a question I'm asking, where I'm just expecting a yes or no answer. I'm not expecting any other answer than that. So I can just go refresh this and see that hello world, enter your name, just like say, okay. And then this would be like a yes or no answer. Are you sure you want to delete this? So it says okay or cancel, okay? So these are the three different ways you can ask or display an output or request an input from the user. Alert is the only one that we use to display the output. Prompt and confirm is to accept an input from the user. Okay? So these are the three pop-up boxes that we can use. Now, another one is uh, where all these pop-up boxes were actually let me just put them as hints over here. Let's say then output okay so that you could recall them in the next case we have something that could be displayed on the page itself over here we're displaying uh, through a pop-up which is annoying it's not preferred to do that it's like whenever you open the page you see a pop-up and whenever you do that it's, it's annoying so usually it's not preferred to do this it can be used for debugging but you should not use it in an actual program an actual HTML page so let's say if I want to display something from my JavaScript code on the screen on the page itself. So which command do I use? 
so let's say on page output okay in this case I'm going to use something okay, just going to close this properly on this page I'm going to use a function called document dot write okay document dot write allows me to write something on the page itself so example if I say hello world over here in this case I'm just going to go and refresh this and you will see that it will execute in a sequential fashion and then I'll see hello world spelling is messed up but it's the same the concept is it will be applied to the page itself so that it here in this case it's changing the DOM tree we studied about the DOM tree in CSS and we saw that how uh, HTML actually provides the structure for the DOM tree the nodes and their location and CSS manipulates the DOM tree by changing the color and the very different properties of that nodes and JavaScript allows you to manipulate the DOM tree by actually changing the the values changing different things and even deleting or adding new elements to the DOM tree so over here I'm adding a new element to the DOM tree initially the page was empty after executing the JavaScript code we saw that we added a new text node which is hello world you can see that when you put, put inspect the element over there you'll see that it added this inside the body of your page which says hello world over here that means it's modifying the HTML script of your page okay okay now let's go back and because now I think my browser will be disconnected because I just opened the inspect tools let's going to restart that again okay okay the bad thing it's going to block all my pop-ups now okay no worries we just saw how to do that now what I'm going to do is let's say uh, let me add this is the next way of doing that suppose I don't want to change the DOM tree I don't want to display my message as a pop-up but I still want to use it for debugging to find out whether there is an error or not in this case we can use another one which is called console output now console output is not shown on the chain the screen it's just for you to understand if there's a mistake somewhere okay so the function over here is console dot log and then you can say error here okay I'm going to save this and just going to restart this see and nothing is shown so it's exactly the same nothing happened so if you just go and do inspect element you'll see you have a console over here uh, most of the browsers they have this so if you have a console over here, you can click on the console and you see this is where the message is displayed so that you, it's good it's good for debugging so whenever you're programming you want to find out whether my program is reaching to that point so you can display a message this is how you can display a message so the message doesn't change the DOM tree doesn't change your page this will be displayed inside this console so that you can use it for error handling okay so there are different ways of the different console functions that we have one is console log and the only difference is how the color or how the warning is given to you for example there is one for one so if I say just one I'm just going to refresh it you'll see that you will see this triangle for warning that means this message is actually a warning or there is something for console dot error this way when I'm going to refresh that you will see that this is a red circle with a cross which mentions that this is an error and you can see that there's a this error is caused at this particular line in your HTML page okay similarly there is one more which is uh, info this is just like a just like log but just providing you with the information saying that this is just information we we'll save that and then you'll see that I a circle blue circle with an I just telling that this message is just for your information it's, it's 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 to tell you that we are here or some something like that so these are some of the most common messages that we can use so we have dot info dot error dot one and the classic one which is dot log so this these are the three ways where you can provide output to 
from your JavaScript page. Two of them are usually used for error handling, these pop-up boxes and the console output, whereas one of them is used to change the DOM tree to actually add something, to display something on the page itself, which is document.write. Okay, so that's it. That's, these are the ways that you can use to write something on your web page.